The Studio 53 presenters were recently invited to attend an intense workshop and for most of us it was our first chance to meet face to face. I must say that it really was a wonderful experience being with such a lively, spirited group of people who clearly all love Studio 53 as much as I do. But it wasn't just all work, work, work because we did manage to fit in a good session of partying. On Friday the 17th September, Studio 53 presenters jetted into Joburg from their various countries to attend a workshop. It was all excitement as they met each other for the first time. First port of call for African stars was a visit to the Mnet Studios in Randburg. It was also a chance to meet the Studio 53 production team responsible for the running of the show. Before the hard work could begin, the guys got time out at the Zulu Nyala Country Manor near Fourways, which hosted our presenters and the workshop. And the boys, as usual, didn't waste time. After just a couple of beers, they were chatting like old friends. But then it was time for work. First up was a warm welcome from the Studio 53 producer who outlined the show's vision and mission to the presenters. The workshop was basically a vehicle to train our presenters um, in interviewing skills, grooming skills, as well as on-camera skills. I think the main reason we had this workshop was to bring all the presenters together, to create a feeling of unity, to team build, and to say, listen, we all belong to Studio 53, we're proud of Studio 53, and that was why we had the workshop. <laughs> Next, some grueling presentation and interviewing skill session. I've never had any formal training in television, so I got to learn presentation skills and interview, interviewing skills and stuff like that, so it was great. I have learned a lot on breathing techniques, something that I didn't know before. That was very special for me. And next time when I present Studio 53, I'll be bringing the viewers much more interesting things through my breathing techniques. And then it was time for what was clearly the girls' favorite part of the workshop, grooming and dressing up. They certainly enjoyed all the pampering and were giving some hot makeup from Revlon and grooming tips. That's it. Strike a pose, girls. But not to be left out, the guys too were lavished with gifts and products from Revlon. But it was not all hard work and no play for our stars. On Saturday night, they were ushered in style to the popular hangout club Kilimanjaro for an evening befitting our African kings and queens. And as usual, the girls didn't disappoint. Um, we're here to celebrate our presenters. We're here to celebrate our show. And thank you for celebrating tonight with us. The formal dinner, which was organized especially in honor of the presenters, was well attended by the media. The evening gave the presenters a chance to kick back and enjoy. As if that was not enough, they were all given awards by the production team, which were called Outtake Awards. Each presenter was awarded a little trophy that best represented their personalities as seen through the eyes of the camera over the last seven months of the show. The show means um, have a look at other African countries and don't be enclosed in your little cocoon. See what other countries have to offer in terms of tourism, the foods, the people, the cultures. It's Africa is beautiful and we are showcasing that. To focus on positive African stories I think is a lot more difficult and in that way a lot more challenging. So I think what Studio 53 is doing is groundbreaking. I think it's fantastic. Each one represents their country in a very unique way. Um, that for me is they're a symbol of the country, and the more I get to work with them, the more I realize their uniqueness. And uh, yeah, I'm going to like them and love them and enjoy working with them. Nice thing is we sit in our countries watching a program. We don't know each other, but this weekend we've all met and we gelled. It's just been like 
family. It's been beautiful. Each and every one of us are to totally unique, but yet we seem to come together. And also just the pampering and the knowledge that was given to us was really, really, it's going to stay with me for, I think, the rest of my life. I am an African. My parents are East African. And I am absolutely amazed at how much culture, passion, color, fashion. I mean, I could go on for days about that, but this is Africa, and that's why I do it. Since its inception seven months ago, the crew of Studio 53 has managed to form in almost 15 African countries, capturing the fun, colors, sights, and sounds of the continent. A lift here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I just won my fifth nominee. This is the uh, Oscars, Golden Award, Gaetano Kagua. Get used to this, people. But thanks a lot to Studio 53, all the organizers. It was a blast meeting all the presenters. We are the women of Studio 53. But then, of course, an evening can never be complete without the after party, bringing to an end a fun-filled weekend enjoyed by everyone.